All right, guys, so we're ready to finally move on and actually import our images into Lightroom. And we're going to do two things. We're going to set up our import preset, and then we're also going to show you guys basically how to import from a couple different locations. So one being like from CF cards versus from like a hard drive and so on. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's first, uh, actually, you know what? Let's first delete this image that we had, our sample image in here that we used to create our standard import develop preset. So let's right click on this. We're going to go to delete photo, and we do want to remove it from the disk because I don't need it anymore. All right, so our catalog is cleared. We can get to our import dialog by hitting the button, going up to the menu, or for cool kids, you can use the shortcut, which is Control Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our source, which is our CF card. Uh, and really, it doesn't matter where your source is. We're gonna show you guys a couple different ways of importing. So the first example is gonna be from a CF card, but before we do that, let's actually set up our standard import preset. So let's go right over here to render previews. We're gonna keep this on minimal. We're gonna say don't import suspected duplicates because Lightroom will actually read the metadata and it knows if a file is a duplicate. So if it's a duplicate, you don't wanna waste the hard drive space of importing multiple images. All right, so now we're gonna go down to file renaming. This is optional if you guys wanna rename the files. I typically will leave it as the standard files from the uh, CF card or from, you know, just from the camera until I'm ready to deliver the, the job. And we're gonna cover that in the workflow. So let's leave that actually as, as just, you know, not renamed yet. All right, now apply during import. We wanna to go to develop settings and here is where we're gonna to go to my mixology and select our standard import preset. Then we're gonna to go to metadata and once again, we're gonna select our standard import for SR Lounge that we created. We don't need to add keywords here because this is a generic import preset. We don't wanna add keywords for a generic preset because it's gonna to apply to every image. Now down here where it says into subfolder, I want you guys to check this and then type in 00, zero underscore originals. Okay, this is gonna put all of our images inside of a subfolder in whatever catalog we choose uh, under 00, zero originals. So that way it's neatly organized. Now we have everything dialed in. Now what we're gonna do is go down to import preset where you see this right here on the bottom. You're gonna select this and you're gonna say save current settings as a new preset. And we're gonna say, uh, let's say standard import. And then you can call it whatever, you know, if you if this is for travel or this is for your company or whatever this is. This is for SR Lounge for us, so we're gonna say SR Lounge. We're gonna hit create. All right, so now whenever we're importing images, we just go up, select the standard import preset. It's gonna automatically apply our metadata and our develop settings, put it into the correct folders with don't import suspected duplicates. Everything is correctly selected, okay? So what I like to do at this point after we have selected our, you know, after we created the standard import preset is I like to shrink this to the smaller view. And we do that by checking this uh, show fewer options box. Once we do that, all it does is basically shows this, you know, basically where is it coming from, where is it going to, and what import preset do you want. Now this is generally how we will import our images unless we need to make specific selections, which in this case we do because I don't want to import everything on that memory card because I actually have their engagement session as well as their wedding on the same memory card and I only want to import the engagement portrait session that we did. So we're going to expand this back to our full view so we can see the preview of what's on that card. Next thing we're gonna do, here's a little trick for you guys. I don't wanna import the wedding stuff, and what we see here first is the wedding stuff. I wanna import the engagement session which occurred before the wedding. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna to go to sort, and we're gonna go by capture time, because I know that it was taken before these ones. All right, so once it sorts, we can go to the very top, and we're gonna see just the engagement session at the top. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here is hit uncheck all, we're gonna select the very first photo in the engagement session. We're gonna scroll down uh, and we're gonna select the very last photo. We're just gonna keep going, oh, there it was. And I can also tell because the file names change. So right here, we should see our last engagement photo. Here's where uh, wedding photos start. So we're gonna select all of these. We're gonna hit check and we should see, yeah, 483 photos, which is the correct amount because that's how many shots were in this uh, job. All right, so once again, you probably won't have to deal with this, guys, because you're just choosing one of your standard uh, portrait sessions or weddings or whatever you guys do. Just choose one of your standard jobs and, uh, and import those images uh, for your own example. But I'm just showing you guys how you would make a selection off of a card if you didn't want everything selected when you import. 
All right, guys, so we want these to copy from our card. Whenever we're copying from a CF card or whenever we're importing from a CF card, we always choose copy. And we choose copy because we don't want those images removed from the CF card until those images have been backed up and they have been verified. So we always back up the images after we create our full catalog, we'll back up the images to a second source and then we verify every image on each card by starting with the first image and then checking the last image to the catalog. Once we've verified each card and we make sure everything's in the catalog and everything's backed up, then we'll actually delete the, uh, the images from the CF cards, okay? So at this point, we're just gonna have it copy and we're gonna select for the destination our working catalog. And we just select this working catalog folder and then it's automatically gonna drop it into the 00 originals folder underneath. Okay, so our import preset is selected, and at this point, we're just going to hit import. All right, so I'm going to cancel this import, and I'm going to actually show you guys how we would import off of, say, a different location like the hard drive itself into our catalog. So let's go on to the next video where we discuss that.